What ho, friends and adventurers together. It's me, Paddy, and Laura is here. I'm also here. Episode 52 of Paddy Does One Bro. This is Paddy Goes Down Some Ladders. Ladders! Um, so, whoa, I nearly fucking fell in that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, I have a question to Go ask while we explore this ladder. Um, the first question I have is from Fergzilla. It's actually a question I've got answered. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, I do want that item. Oh, man. Ah! Please tell Why? Me, please tell me you put your ring on first. Where the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that a record for quickest death? Oh. No, the chomp one was probably faster. Pete. <laughs> Shut up. This is on you. I absolutely forgot to set my shit. Oh no, I need the life ring now because now I've got to take a bit more damage. I might have to use an effigy, Laura. Oh, you're an idiot. To get down. I don't think I even need to get down there. I think it's pointless. But I'm still going to do it. Where's the cat ring? There's the cat ring and then take all of this shit off. Look at that fucking sexy boy. Did you just ask where the cat ring was? The most obvious ring out of all of well, them. Well, I wasn't looking, alright? We're going to try again. This time, if this kills me, then I give up. I'm going to go down my other ones. Because I can't keep doing this for six weeks again. Um, the question I had, I had a question from Fergzilla. Uh, I'm going to ask it while I hang on the ladder, please. See, that's fine. That's you could fine. have gone further down the ladder, so you might have taken No, a bit that's less when up. you fall off. It, oh. There's no choice. You just, that's where you go. A radiant life gem. Cool. <laughs> Great. What's down here? Uh. Why did I drink? That was foolish. What? Um, qu first question uh, says, Tis the season. Uh, I shall pose the same question I posed last season of One Bro. This time Laura's here. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, hey Laura. What's, yes. What's the best stand, and why is it Hanged Man? Firstly, it's not Hanged Man. I'm sorry, but you're wrong, Ferg. Uh, it's not Hanged Man. As much as it is cool, Hanged Man. If Polnareff can beat you, you're not the best stand. No. Um, this is a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure question, everybody. So okay. if you're not an anime person. Just just listen somewhere else for a time. If you haven't watched Jojo, don't necessarily listen to Paddy raving like a lunatic. <laughs> it is pretty good, actually. It's a bit weird at times, but I saw a good so article. I saw a good article today, someone retweeted that the JoJo's World podcast account tweeted this out. It was um uh, David Production produced new season of that friend asking you to watch JoJo's all the time. <laughs> um, no, I would uh, if you give it a go. Uh, I'd honestly start from the beginning because it's less weird in the beginning. Mm. People have um, problems getting into it from the beginning, I found. Oh, I know. I really liked it from the beginning. I thought, again, it, it built the characters up in the right way. But it's not the same thing by the time you get three seasons in. It does really quickly evolve. Um, my favourite season is season two. Um, uh, Battle Tendency. Battle Tendency, That's yes. a great name for a season. Because the bad guys, are, I just think, are really cool bad guys. Um, and then the, it, after the pillar that, men. Yeah, and then after that it starts getting a bit weird. Um, anyway, the best stand is the clown guy. I can never remember the name. Death 13. Yes. It's my favourite stand. Lally Ho. Yes, because Lally Ho. Lally Ho. Lally Ho. We're going to do this for do a Do you want before. to give anyone some context or... Lally ho! Is that all the context you're going to provide? Lally ho! Lally ho. I don't like the stand user. I don't like that it's a baby yeah, that seems to be really creepy. smart and has vampire fangs. And I don't really know. But I really like the stand. I think it's a cool idea. It goes in... You go into its dream world or... Goes into your it dreams. It enters your dream. Um, and basically fucks with you. Uh, which is cool. And it's like, like a, it. a hovering clown reaper. Yes. That goes, lally ho! La um, I would say at least once a week you get into a lally ho. Flip. Lally ho! And then uh, when it got a bit upset, it went, lally ho! So yeah, cool. Oh, awesome. Fuck. Love it. Um, These rats cast curse. Uh, That's petrification, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I prefer the stands that have a kind of a more specific 
kind of power. Okay. Uh, the further you get on, the more it's like... So like oh, Star Platinum, can... who has all the powers. Yeah, uh, yeah, it gets, it gets to a point where it's, oh, they can do this and this and this. It's all a bit complicated as opposed to, right, it does fire. You know. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah you know, I, I like to keep that. my Pokemon simple. Mm. Um, uh, are we good? But, yeah, no, are there, that's coming? My there are rats coming. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any else I like. I, well, I can tell you what my favourite one is. It hasn't changed from the last time. Uh, I still think. Well, I, I used to say it was Silver Chariot. Hmm. Um, but it's no. not. No. As much as I like Silver Chariot, it's a good stand, which is Polnareff's stand, which is just like a knight with a rapier. Yeah. Uh, my favourite stand is Killer Queen. Love mm. Killer Queen, because of just all the things you can say. Bites are dust -o! It's great. Uh, so I'm going to drop this bridge down. Okay. It's not... I've got Pharos Lockstones to spare. Yeah. Okay. So this area is a covenant area, right? Right. So it's... It's fucking weird. So, this, you run around this area, okay, um, and you can turn off these Pharos Lockstones, and they make things happen in the stage. So, you can drop this down, and that's on forever. Yeah. Um, or there's one that spews poison out of the wall. Um, there's loads. And what you do is you hang out in your rat area, in the Rat Covenant. Right. And people come to your world and get sucked into your world, and you fight them in your world. So, people get sucked into here to fight me with all the traps I've set up. And every time I win, I get a Pharos Lockstone. So okay. I can keep setting off just traps. So I used to set off the poison trap, which was, I think, this one. Yes. And I would stand in it. I, because in your yeah. game, it doesn't hurt you. I'd stand there with a big sword and wait, and they'd run past me and then just swing as they went past. It worked every fucking time. They could never see me. Okay. Now, I vaguely remember you doing that to a few blokes. It was good. To be fair, I remember you doing more of that kind of campy bullshit in uh, the clock tower. Is it Clock Tower? Oh, I did some shit in the Clock Tower. I yeah. loved the Clock yeah, Tower. Yeah, you always used to do things where you used to roll down a hole and they jump and they die. Or Ooh. get damaged anyway. Was it that one I need to, to do? Yeah, it's no, that I, one I need go, to do. Can we go back to this question? No, I prefer... Yeah, no, I, I like quite a lot of the ones like, like Hermit Purple. You know, the simple ones. They have a simple um, power. I also like the ones that aren't just really like, hey, look, I'm super powerful and nothing can basically beat me. Hmm. Um, which, as much as I like Jotaro as one of the characters, I think Star Platinum is fairly OP. Too good. By the way, speaking of OP, look at the fucking size of that skeleton and those rats that are just hanging out. Um, Here they come. See, the like, uh, thing I like about Killer Queen is it's a relatively simple idea. Like, can do bombs. Yeah, but then it, it gets into all these different things, and you've got the stupid plant in there. Yes! And... Three Kato! No, I don't... Uh, yeah, no. Hang on, wait a second. These skeletons, have they got fucking manacles on their feet? Are they chained to the floor? Probably. Because that's dark. Um, I can't remember Maybe they're chained these. so they don't return back from the dead? Oh, like the coffins in Bloodborne. Something like that. It's not starting Coffin Gate all over again. Um... Yeah, I'm going to use it on that one. This is the one I had to do. I was wrong. So basically, I'm doing a thing here. So once I've beaten this area, I have a thing to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a long-winded thing, uh, but it basically involves killing the same enemy 50 times, and then I can get a cool weapon, which I think would be very, very me. However, we do have something more fun to do here. I also like, obviously, like Iggy's, you know, one of those dick characters that you learn to love, and then... You know, love too much and it hurts. Um, oh, poor Iggy. What, the fool? Iggy. Um, I like, yeah, I like Iggy and I like the bird. Again, they seem to be fairly simple stands that are used effectively. Hmm. No, it's, it's a nice stand. And Iggy has a sand car thing. A sand car thing? It's a sand car. Is that it, a car dog? That's a, made of sand. With a beak. Um, yeah. Um, um oh, yeah. oh, oh, what happened here? These are people doing the thing. These are people fighting the invader. Nice. I am scared. I don't remember this. Whisper of Despair. Oh, that's a fucking spell. I kind of feel like there will be a rat. But that guy. Oh, no. That's a statue of a rat. I'm going to pick this up and then run. 
Nope. Th see, this isn't the rat area I thought you were. Because the rat area I remember, it was very low roofed. And there were little pillars everywhere. And you had a spear. And you were trying to swing this spear around and couldn't do shit. Nora. What? Nora. What? Nora. What? Just, just, if you wait till the next episode. Oh, I don't, don't want to wait. Well, you're going to have to. Fine, I'm going to go back to thinking about stands I like. Okay, so, um, so, basically, uh, my answer is still Killer Queen. Um, because I still like Killer Queen. I think it's a great stand. Meh. Uh, there's one in part five that I like. Um, but I don't want to spoil that because we're watching that right now. Um, and it's going to come across soon. It's really good. Well, yeah, but you talk about all that kind of stuff all the time anyway, so you've probably already spoiled it previously. <coughs> but I'm going to try not to. Oh, okay. um, well, that was episode 52. We went down some holes. I think that was good. Went down a hole, at least. Yeah. Uh, and now we've got a problem to fix. Okay. Uh, in there. Uh, sorry, in... There. Okay. Um, but we're going to do that on the next episode. And it's a bonfire. So I'm just going to sit down. Fuck it. See you next time, everyone. Later.